Welcome r slash pro or revenge. Cheat on me, you'll get deported, arrested, and never see your child again. I'm not American, and ICE was not involved in any way, as this did not occur in the United States. As well, my ex-boyfriend and I are both white, so there was no racial motivation. I've read a lot of these, and listened to some amazing narrators on YouTube, so decided to post the story of my ex-boyfriend. Throw away account for obvious reasons. Apologies for the long story, I edited out as much as I could, so the story isn't too long. Also, apologies if this is the wrong subreddit. I'm a little new to all of this. My ex-boyfriend and I are both native-born citizens of the same country in North America. We got together when I was still in post-secondary working towards my degree, and he was taking some time before he started post-secondary to work and save up money. Our relationship was basically perfect from my perspective. We had similar goals and expectations. We both seemed mature and able to work through any problems we had, and we both were happy to be together and enjoyed each other's personalities. We were together for 3 years prior to this incident. Our relationship hit a bit of a rough patch though, when he told me he wanted to study for his degree at a university in Europe. I, of course, was a little bit upset, because it meant that we would be apart for 4 years. My job field, medical, would require me to retake schooling if I was to go with him, but he was super excited about it, and we determined that we loved each other, and no amount of distance could change that. With time I graduated and got my dream job, and I could now afford to rent our shared apartment with just my income, so I didn't have to move when he was no longer there to pay his half. He was having some problems with his student visa for the country, but it was determined that he could get a temporary visa for the first semester while we waited for the other one to be approved. So with that, he left. I remember bawling my eyes out at the airport when I hugged and kissed him goodbye and parked outside of the airport to watch his plane take off. We talked on the phone almost every night. As unlucky as it was, about 5 weeks after he left, I found out I was pregnant. Horrible timing, I know. When I told him I was pregnant he immediately accused me of cheating on him while he was gone. I thought it was a bit odd, since he had never even mentioned such a thing, and it seemed really out of the blue. That obviously lead to a big fight, and I felt offended and disgusted that he would even consider it a possibility. When he came home for Christmas, he was super happy and loved dove with me, saying he was excited. He even proposed to me on the car ride home from his parents' house on Christmas Eve. I was so happy and overjoyed that it felt like everything would work out okay. When he went back to school, it was again stressful to go through the pregnancy without him, but both his parents and mine were incredibly supportive. They helped me get everything I needed for the baby, and even threw me a surprise baby shower. When I gave birth, my ex watched it over Skype from his mom. When he finished his exams, he came home to be with us. He immediately started talking negatively about our daughter, saying things like why is her hair that color? My hair is brown, and doesn't she have, your friends, eyes, and he again accused me of cheating. So I reluctantly agreed to perform a paternity test to calm his suspicions. Wow, could you believe it, she was his. He agreed to pay informal child support, sending me money to pay for the baby without a lawful order to do so, while he was overseas. Now for the fun part. His student visa had still not been approved. So he had to reapply for another temporary semester visa for the next semester. Since he did not have a permanent residence in the country, as he was staying in student accommodations, and he didn't trust the university to not go through official looking mail, 6 he redirected all of his mail to me, which I would forward to the university in his care packages. When he came to visit us, he had applied for a new passport, as his was going to expire in 6 months. I was tasked with picking it up at the office and sending it forward. However, around midterm exam season, I decided our daughter and I would travel to deliver the care package in person and visit. I had to get her an infant passport and book the tickets, but a couple months later we were getting on a plane. Side note, traveling with a baby sucks, and I'm sorry to everyone else on the plane. When we got to the country, I settled into our hotel but was too eager to see him. 
I taxied to his university, only about 45 minutes from the airport, and went to his dorm room on campus. I knocked on the door, holding our daughter. A woman answered the door. At first, I assumed it was his roommate or something, but I don't remember him mentioning he had one. Denial is a powerful thing, I guess. I asked her where he was, and she said he was inside, and called out to him. I heard a who is it, babe, as he came to the door, and when he saw me, he froze. He went pale and his eyes widened. The woman asked him honey, who is this, and I just turned and walked away. He called out after me, and eventually caught up with me. He basically told me that he's been so lonely without me, and he couldn't help it, and that he loved me and not her, to which she started yelling at him calling him a pig and stuff. My baby started crying, because I was crying, and so I just left without saying anything. I stayed in the hotel for another day, while he continuously called me on my cell phone. I booked last minute tickets home, and left early, and ignored every time he called me. I gave myself a week to grieve, and then I put my big girl pants on. I immediately hired a lawyer, and asked him what I could do to legally separate my life from him. In my country we were considered common law married. My lawyer advised me to begin the legal separation process, and apply for a hearing about custody and child support. I sent him a thick manila envelope with separation papers and a notice for a hearing about custody in his next package. We talked on the phone on speaker with my lawyer, and he eventually agreed to sign. He sent me a copy. The hearing was scheduled, while school was in session, so no surprise he didn't show up. I won full custody, and he was given an order to pay child support appropriate for his income. He was paying for his college with a grant mostly, so he had to pay, based on the grant. Now this is some revenge, but it went a little further. Remember when I went to see him, I was bringing a care package? That package contained his new passport. His passport expired, and he was still in Europe, so he couldn't travel back to our home country legally. He yelled at me on the phone to send him the passport, but I got an idea. He hadn't been paying the child support, probably because he couldn't afford it with tuition and wasn't working, so he had a warrant for his arrest in my home country because of it, contempt of court, or something. And he had never been approved for a student visa, only the temporary one. And since his final exam concluded, and it was summer, he technically wasn't supposed to be in Europe. But he couldn't travel home, because he didn't have a passport. It would be a shame, if someone anonymously reported him to the embassy for overstaying his visa, now wouldn't it? He got deported back to our home country, where he was arrested at the border. I don't know exactly what happened, but he spent a couple months on probation, and with a criminal record, can no longer apply for a visa of any kind to study abroad. Sorry about that future of yours, but I guess you shouldn't cheat on someone who loves you to the ends of the earth, the mother of your child. Have a nice life, because we sure will. Oh, and don't forget to put that check in the mail, it's paying for a little girl's future education. For those people saying that I'm abusing my daughter, I'm not. Since returning, her father has never reached out to me and has made no indication that he wants to see his daughter. She has a relationship with his parents, who adore her as grandparents do, but he has not tried to reconnect personally. As well, if he did want to see her in the future, I would be okay with it. He is her father, after all. Well, men often come up with this BS when they are not ready to have a child, so as a last ditch effort they accuse the mother of cheating to get out of the responsibility. The fact that he pushed for paternity test shows that he really really didn't want the child, and it is no wonder that he isn't trying to connect with her. Though, the possibility of him saying this because he was already cheating as well at that time is quite high. Agreed. Don't get me wrong that guy's a jackass and deserves two thirds of what happened to him, but I think she went over the line considering the reasoning behind the failed child support. It's not like it was money he was spending on this woman or himself. It was grant money that was more like phantom income. I'd be less inclined to say nuclear if he had a full time job and was ignoring child support. He had an artificially inflated income and was unable to pay, now he has a record and you're relishing in it. You've got a little bit of evil in you op, though I can understand your age. Lol misogyny on reddit is incredible. 
I bet if the same thing was posted with genders reversed, Op wouldn't have gotten nearly as much shit as this woman got. Reddit wants to crucify cheating women while giving cheating men a pass. But the worst thing are guys who call her a horrible human for depriving the father of her child of seeing the child. Are you fucking delusional? He didn't give two shits about his child. He was cheating in another country with another woman, while the kid was just a baby. Judging by his behavior he began to cheat, even before she got pregnant, and it lasted all the pregnancy. He accused his GF of cheating, just because he was cheating himself, suspected the kid was not his, and generally didn't care about her or his child. Is that the guy you pity? Seriously? And you really think that what he did to get is not as bad as what she did to him? Redditors here are fucking insane. I also love how they call him father of her daughter to add humanity to him. He is not the father of her child, he is a sperm donor. Can't believe people are calling this abuse WTF. It's pretty obvious Opset Zero about not letting daddy see child, and per her reddit she would, if he wanted to, which he doesn't seem only, the slimy little mofo. I respect every decision you made, even if the embassy report was a bit malicious, and I personally prefer the universe to exact my karma instead of me personally, because obv I'm biased. I understand and sympathize with your emotional state at the time of that decision, and thus cannot fault you for it. You go girl. Get ya shit together. Good luck with everything. Show em how much he lost.